Is Bruder the best trailer in the entire world or is it all just hype? <laughs> that is the question. If you are watching this video and this is the first video you're seeing by ROA Off-Road, you absolutely need to go back and watch four other videos. This is our final video on the series of, you know, Bruder versus our ROA lineup. off-road lineups. We didn't do every single trailer we had, but we did our flagship, you know, most primo trailers. But essentially we had an intro video to talking about how we were going to take these off-roading and compare them. And then we have a video, it's a Romer one versus Bruder, which one's better? We had a pause versus Bruder, which one's better? And then we had the pursuit versus Bruder. We took them on obstacles, we failed, we scraped, not too much of anything got damaged. No, we didn't right? really damage anything. We were very careful because <laughs> yeah. we just didn't want to break anything. Yeah, we didn't want to break anything. We were trying so, to be careful. We weren't it, trying to- If we hit the point that it was like, that's hitting, then we made adjustments with the airbags or we went time to back off. Yeah, exactly. And it's really hard to compare them because they're all such different trailers, right? Yeah. Yeah. But overall, as we've had all day to go through this and, and see them in action and one after another, what's your takeaway? <laughs> I'm after competing against the Bruder, all our different trailers, they all perform very well. They all beat all the obstacles. The Bruder did too. We had to max it out in order to overcome the obstacle, but it still did it. Yeah. And that kind of obstacle that we're tackling, most people will never tackle any of these. Yeah. So for most people, the necessity to be able to have 26 inches, <laughs> like the pause, it may not be necessary. So it may not come down to, do I have an off-road capable trailer? Yes, any of these will give you that ability. It might come down to just what kind of trailer you like the most and what you want in your trailer for size of water tanks, for your sleeping arrangements, if you like a wet bath or not a wet bath, if you want a kitchen, do you want it to be a pop top? Those will end up becoming the factor of decision. It's not gonna be the off-road capability because they're all capable. They're all capable, but let's state the facts, <laughs> the numbers the and what we showcased. So overall clearance, the departure, the Roamer 1, the pause 20.3, and the BRS Pursuit all outperformed the Bruder off-roading. So if you wanna yes. say what's the best off-road trailer, you cannot say the Bruder is the most capable nope. with clearance and departure angles. Like, it's not the best, it's not the most. It is very capable, but very, it's not the best. Very capable, but it is not the best. Is that saying that they're all better than the Bruder? No, the Bruder is actually really cool. The suspension is really cool. I love how you can turn on and off those valves to get the airbags to do different things. I was like but just if, saying, yeah. we could easily add these to our paws yeah. or to any of our trailers. Any with the airbags. because We could even make them electronic valve. and we just could. have it with a remote. Be super easy. I would be like a cheap mod <laughs> on all of our yeah. trailers. And, we, and then they could all have that same option. Anyways, I like the Bruder. I think it's a cool trailer. I would love to carry them and I think they'll fit for the right person. You know, if somebody's trying to tow it with a Jeep Gladiator or a Toyota Tacoma or a Chevy Colorado and they want to park it in a garage, it's an awesome trailer. And it looks cool. I mean, look at it. It looks it's cool. It's sweet looking, yeah. I mean, it fits in. Honestly. They all fit real well together. I think they're all pretty trailers, right? <laughs> we were all kind of arguing over which one we thought looked best. Some of us thought the Romer 1 looked the best. Some of us liked the pause the most. You know, some of us liked the Pursuit. I think one person even said the Bruder looked the best. So they're all incredible trailers. Most off-road capable goes to, I mean, the Paws honestly had the best clearance and departure. Out of all of them. Though the, the Roamer 1 Roma had next. the next, and then the Pursuit was, it's shorter and just different, yeah, but it had really good angles as well. So if you remove the steps, it'd be really high. Yeah, we yeah were the steps were definitely the 18 point. and we hadn't pumped it up right. So we would have been up into the 20s. Yeah, just like, and that's where sure. the pause was sitting too. For sure. I think this was an awesome test to do. If you guys like this, if you want to see more stuff, if you want to see more footage, we, we might have this brooder by the time you're watching it. it might already be sold. So we might not have much opportunity. We've gone through it. We've crawled over it. We've seen the quality of it underbelly inside. We've pulled it apart kind of to check the guts out a little bit. It's a great, great trailer not going to say anything bad about it but you know in the past we've alluded and said that the Romer one is the best trailer in the world and i don't want to necessarily bash and say it's better than the bruder but i don't feel bad saying it's just as good or maybe a little better in some areas it is for sure off-road yeah 
That's so my friend. obviously there's other models and newer models of brooders. This is used one and it's a cool trailer. Um, yeah. The videos tell everything. <laughs> yeah, if you haven't seen the videos, if you have, if this is the video, the first video you're watching on the Brooder versus our trailers, you need to go back and you gotta, like the evidence is in the videos. You can see where it dragged, you can see where they scraped, where they had weak points. Uh, go and watch the videos, Romer one versus a Brooder. And then you have Pause versus Brooder. You have Pursuit versus Brooder. Go check them out on our playlist and Google them. We'll have them on our website too. Honestly, I'm proud to be an American right now because I think in America, we are making, I want to say, in my opinion, the best trailers in the world right now. Yeah, I would agree, in my opinion as well. Like, they're fantastic. Not just in the off-road capabilities as well as the amenities and all the components that go into it yeah. are the top as the, well. The solar, the battery bank, the 12 volt AC units that can run off-grid. I mean, we ran the AC off-grid for 10 days here in Utah on the Romer one. We ran it for a day and a half in Vegas, over hundred degrees. Like it's incredible what we're doing with our trailers built here in America, you know, thanks to Imperial Outdoors. And, and they're Paws. all four seasons. And they're all four seasons. Yeah. That's, that's a, a big, big deal. difference between Australian trailers is they just, they don't need it there, yeah. but we do here yeah. and they have not adapted to us. Yeah, no, I mean, and I think Bruder advertises a Four Seasons. I don't know. This one's not. Yeah, this like one's Like under there, there's no way that thing is Four Seasons. And the fiberglass is, is not that thick. So there's definitely heat transfer through there pretty quickly if you're in cold t climates. Uh, but that's this one. This is a used one. I, I'm sure the newer ones, they've made lots of improvements. We're making tons of improvements. You know, it is kind of an unfair test. These are brand new trailers. This one's a few years old. So it, it's not fair necessarily to compare them exactly. But overall, we showed you how capable they are all off-road, side by side. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Make some comments below and let us know if there's something else you want to see, something else you want to know. Any other thoughts? I think that's enough. There you go. <laughs> we got it. We covered it. Well, thank you so much for watching and hopefully you've enjoyed this series of Bruder versus the ROA off-road lineup. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Hey everyone, hope you enjoyed this series. If you like the Romer one, the pause or the pursuit and want more information, click the link in the description and we can email you a free 3D tour and brochure of each trailer. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.